Hello, my dear students, and welcome to English for Palestine, grade 11. Our lesson today is in your pupil's book, unit 9, period 2, page 90. It's a reading comprehension lesson about highly intelligent stories. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to, number one, answer comprehension questions about the reading text. Number two, identify the main ideas of the paragraphs of the text. And number three, identify some pronoun references in the reading text. So here, let's together discuss the text and see. So, paragraph number one. First, I'm going to read the paragraph and then we'll discuss it together. Some people worry that folk tales and fairy stories encourage children to believe things that they can't happen in the real world. The highly praised children's writer, Gillian Paulson, couldn't disagree more. Stories, she says, help to develop a child's imagination. One of the main points of these stories, she explains, is that they don't happen in the real world. Once children have visited the other world, stories described, they are never quite the same. They learn to question the world they see around them, perhaps to change it. So let's now discuss the text. Here, if you notice, some people worry that, or some people think that, Folk tales and fairy stories encourage children to believe things that can't happen in the real world. So, what do some people think about fairy tales or fairy stories or folk tales? Okay, yes, they think that folk tales and fairy stories encourage children to believe things that can't happen in the real world. The highly praised children's writer. Here we have a famous writer. Her name is Jillian Paulson. She has a different idea. She thinks that stories help to develop a child's imagination. So, people or some people think that stories encourage children to believe things that can't happen in the real world but Gillian Paulson uh, thinks that uh, stories help to develop a child's imagination. Now, she uh, gives more details about this, and she says one of the main points of these stories, she explains, is that they. So the pronoun they here, this pronoun, yes, the pronoun they, refers to stories. So again, one of the main points of these stories, she explains here, she refers to Gillian Paulson, is that they, the stories, don't happen in the, in the real world. Once children have visited the other world, the stories describe, they, they are never the same. They hear, they refers to the words. The words, the real word, and the words in the uh, stories are different. So what happened? Children learn to question the word they see around them, perhaps to change it. And also here, the pronoun it refers to the word, word. Okay, again, if I ask you a question, what do, what do uh, some people think about uh, folk tales and fairy tales? The answer is here, that folk tales and fairy tales encourage children to believe things that can't happen in the real world. Okay? Now, what does Jillian Paulson think about stories, uh, fairy tales? tales or fairy stories, okay, she thinks that stories help to develop a child's imagination. 
what is one of the main points that Jillian uh, Paulson uh, stressed about here? Yes. Okay, she says that one of the main points of these stories is that they, the stories, don't happen in the real world. That's okay. They don't happen in the real world. Now, once children have visited the other world stories described, children, they, they are never quite the same. The, the two words, the real word and the, the word in the story, uh, are not the same. So, children learn to question this word and try to change it. Now, if I ask you what is the main idea of this uh, paragraph, what, what do you think? Yes, let's see. Yeah, so this paragraph is about Gillian Paulson's opinion in folk and fairy tales, or fairy stories. Okay, uh, let's now move to paragraph number two. I'm going to read it first and then we'll discuss it. She's not alone in this opinion. The great scientist Albert Stein, Einstein once said, if you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. Research has shown that children who grow up hearing and later reading stories are much more likely to get good exam results, not just in language, but also in math and science. Let's discuss this uh, paragraph. She's not alone. Gillian Paulson, do you remember in paragraph number one, paragraph number one is about Gillian Paulson's opinion in uh, folk uh, tales and fairy stories. She is not alone. There are other people who uh, have the same opinion. One of them is the great scientist Albert Einstein. What does Albert Einstein think about fairy tales? Yes, he once said, if you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. And if you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. So Albert Einstein agrees with Gillian Paulson. Also, research has shown that children who grow up hearing, in, in, at the beginning hearing and then or later reading stories, are much more likely to give good, uh, to get good exam results, not just in language, but also in math and science. So, uh, it's clear here that fairy tales develop children's language, math, and science. What does Albert Einstein think about fairy tales? This is the answer. What does research or what has research shown uh, about fairy tales? This is the answer. Okay. What is the main idea in this paragraph? More people support Gillian Paulson. Okay? Good. Now let's move to paragraph number three. Gillian Paulson thinks the reason why children love fairy tales is quite simple. They just want to know what happens next. Folk tales or fairy stories are especially good for this because they don't normally have anything extra to get in the way. You don't need to know what the character is feeling or thinking, just what they do next. So you can start your story with something like, once upon a time, there was a poor old woman who lived in a forest with her son. And that's it. You don't need to say where the forest was and why they were poor. They don't even need to have names. What did they do? That's the only important part. Let's discuss this paragraph. So, again, here Gillian Paulson uh, 
talked about why children love fairy stories. She says that the, the, the reason is very simple. It is they, children, just want to know what happens next. Just they, they focus on the events of the story. And folk stories or folk tales and fairy stories are good in this. They focus on the events, not on the feelings or the attitudes. So here we have, they don't normally have anything extra to get in the way. This means that they focus only on the events. And she gives here, she gives an example. So you can start a story by saying, once upon a time, there was a poor old woman uh, who lived in a forest with her son, with no other details. It's not important to know why they are poor or where, they, where do they live or what are their names. The focus here is on the events. Look here, what did they do? This is the most important thing. So what is the this paragraph about, the main idea? Yes, it's the events, folk tales and fairy stories are more important than ideas. Okay, good. Let's now move to the last paragraph. Stories then are good for children. First, by hearing them and later by reading them independently. We learn that language is for sharing ideas and having fun. We learn that language is for sharing ideas and have fun. But Jillian has a warning for parents and teachers. Look at her uh, warning. Don't tell them that it's a good idea for them. And certainly don't encourage them to read books that you think they should. There is no quicker way to make them not want to read. Let's discuss this paragraph. Yes. Depending on the last paragraph, on paragraph number three, we see that uh, children like stories. Now, yes, stories are good for ch children. They are good for hearing or by hearing them at the beginning and then reading them ind independently because they develop the children's language. But Jillian here has a warning for parents and teachers. She, ask, she, she asks teachers and parents not to encourage their children to read the books or the stories they, I mean the parents, uh, see that they are important because this gives uh, negative effects. It makes children not like reading stories. What is this paragraph or what is the main idea in this paragraph? Yeah, stories improve language. All right, now here we have the four paragraphs, paragraph number one, two, three, four. I want you please to copy this grid or this table and try to read the, the four paragraphs from your books and try to write the main idea of each paragraph, okay? And also I want you to answer this question by writing the answer in this table. What do the following think about folk tales and fairy stories? Some people, what do they think about folk tales and fairy stories? What uh, does Jillian Paulson think about tales and fairy stories? What does uh, Albert Einstein think about uh, folk tales and fairy stories? Or actually, wh what did he uh, think about uh, folk tales and fairy stories? And what has research shown about folk tales and fairy stories. Please, I want you to copy this uh, table in your book and try to answer this question. Okay, we have finished our lesson today. 
يمكنكم مشاهدة هذا الموقف عدة مرات من خلال الرابط أو الكود الظاهر أسفل الشاشة Thank you very much and see you later